welcome to all of you on the channel math with munir i hope that you all are doing great and watching my videos so today we are going to start a new topic which is about uh, transformation and i want you to pause this video for a moment and think about it that what does it mean by transformation and you will be getting that in general sense transformation means that changing of uh, one thing into another thing is basically called transformation like in in the daily life example we have seen the transformation of uh, uh, water into ice and ice into water is basically transformation so we are going to learn over here that how does transformation works in mathematics so let me tell you my plan about uh, how i am going to cope up with this with this topic and how i will be uploading my videos so we the transformation that we have is basically of four type the first is the translation then we have reflection then we have rotation and last but not least we have enlargement so what i am going to do i will going to be uploading four videos of course not only at one time i will going to be upload four videos from this topic one would be about translation and we will try to cover each and everything of translation and we will be following some multiple example and then reflection and then rotation and then enlargement so what we are going to learn today today we are going to learn about uh, translation which is the first type of uh, transformation so le let us understand that uh, how does the uh, translation actually work so imagine that this is your xy plane and on this xy plane we you have a triangle whatever the name of this triangle let's say abc are the name of uh, the vertices of this triangle now i can move this triangle from this to the right side now it depends upon that how much i am moving or shifting or translating this triangle over here of course you have infinite many ways i can move this triangle from here to two unit to the right axis or three unit to the right axis or four five or and so on and i can also move this triangle down minus two okay i can also move this triangle to the up and i can also move this triangle to the to the left hand side so these are all the possible possibilities that i can have i can move this triangle into these multiple direction but that not only the case okay it's not only the case that i can only move along the x axis either positive x axis or y axis or either i can only move this triangle only along the y axis positive or only uh, y axis to the down but i can also move along the plane now when i'm once i'm saying that along the plane what does it mean by that i can move this triangle let's say 3 unit to the right axis and 2 minus 2 unit to the y axis so it will not only move it will not only move to the right axis but it will it will also go down at the same time okay it will also go down at the same time so this is how actually the translation work so what we are going to do we are going to solve this question and we will see that how i to cope up with this topic translation let's erase this so the question says a triangle pqr with the coordinates p1 comma 3 q7 comma 5 and r2 comma 0 find the coordinate of the vertices of image of triangle pqr under translation t represented by 3 comma minus 2 so what we are going to do now so let's draw these point at this side for you so p1 comma 3 x is 1 and uh, y is uh, 3 so let's say that this is the point that we are having okay now q 7 comma 5 x axis is 7 x axis is 7 and y axis is 5 so here is 1 so let's say here is 7 and y axis is 5 so this was 3 so 7 comma 5 let's say that this is the point that we are having okay then r is 2 comma 0 x axis is 2 and y axis is 0 okay did i did draw right so this was 1 comma 3 x axis 1 y axis 3 and r 2 axis this is 2 comma 0 which is your point r and q was 7 comma 5 so the, let's say q 7 comma 
x axis 7 and y axis 5. So remember that I am not taking the exact measurement over here. I am just taking this some random, I am not taking the random number, but the distance along the x axis and y axis that we are having, I am taking it as a random. So you can draw all this point on a graph paper and you can take the exact measurement and then you will see. What we are going to do now, we are going to apply the translation 3 comma minus 2. So we will be moving this triangle 3 unit to the right axis and minus 2 unit to the down axis. So let's see that what we are going to get. So how it will work? So P will be converted into P dash. Okay, we are going to give it a new name. So the original P was 1 comma 3. We will be writing it in the column form plus the translation that we have 3 comma minus 2. So it would be 1 plus 3 will be 4 and 3 minus 2 will be 1. So this is P. Now how about Q dash. So Q was 7 comma 5 plus translation we have 3 comma minus 2 and that would be equals to 7 plus 3 is 10 and 5 minus 2 will be 3. Okay. How about uh, R? R was 2, 0 and the translation we have 3 minus 2 and that would be 5 comma minus 2. So these are the new coordinates of the triangle PQR we have got after applying the translation 3 comma minus 2. Okay, so now let's draw these point as well and see where we are heading. Okay, P dash I am erasing this part so that we could have some more space. So this is your new plane. P dash is 4 comma 1. X axis is 4. Let's say this is 4 and X, Y axis is 1. So let's say this is your point P. It would be 4 comma 1. Okay. Q prime is 10 comma 3. X axis is 10. Mm, way bigger. So let's say that this is your 10 over here we are having. And y axis 3, since this is 1, 3 will be a little uh, up. So that is your point Q prime with 10 comma 3. And R dash is 5 comma minus 2. R dash is 5 comma minus 2. So this was 4. So let's say this is 5 that we are having and minus 2. So minus 2 is will be down. So here we have got point. So now join all these points. So P Q prime R prime. P prime Q prime R prime. So now if you look at this both these figure you will realize that we have not only moved this triangle to the right to the x axis but we have also moved this triangle to the y axis negative as well. So this is the translation that we have got and this is how it actually works. So you, what you need to do, you just need to add the x point of your translation to the x coordinate and y point of your translation to the y coordinate of your vertex. But let me tell you, that's not the only case where we can have or where we can apply the translation. What we did in this example, we have applied the given translation on the given coordinates and we found the new vertices of p dash q dash and r dash of a triangle but the question could come like this that you will be given the points the original point and you will be given the new points okay you will be given the new coordinates or the new point after applying the some transformation or some translation so what we have to do in that case we have to find the translation that we have applied onto a given point so we are going to take one example with that so you will be more clear i'm going to repeat it right now we have been given some points pqr and we have some we have the translation over here in this case and we have applied on our vertices and we got p dash q dash and r dash so what we are going to do now we are going we will be having some points and we will be having some new points and we will identify that what was the translation that we have applied so let's do this like now the question is our translation t our translation t maps the point 6 comma 2 
on to the point 2 comma 7 and the point minus 1 comma minus 5 on to the point P find P ok. So, in this case a translation T maps the point 6 comma 2 6 comma 2 is a point ok we are mapping or we are applying the some translation on that and we are getting to this point 2 comma 7 remember we are not having the translation that we have applied, but we are having the new point after applying some translation. So, this is the new point and this is the original point ok. So, we can find out translation, but how you have to wait a little and then at the point minus 1 comma minus 5 on to the point p. So, find p. So, let us go one by one with this question ok. T maps the point 6 comma 2, 6 comma 2 was your point, you applied some translation on this ok. Let us say the translation that we have applied was A comma B and in the previous example we have seen that we were we are adding the translation that we have applied to the new point and we are getting the image. So, over here we will write 2 comma 7, why 6 comma 2 was your original point you applied some translation a b we do not know how much a and b is we are giving them name on general and we got this point 2 comma 7. So, simply we can move the matrices or we can move the vector 6 comma 2 will come to this side. So, 2 minus 6 will be minus 4 and 7 minus 2 will be 5. So, a comma b. So, it means that this is the translation that we have applied on 6 comma 2 in order to get the point 2 7. So, this is the translation we have got. Now, and the point minus 1 comma minus 5 on to the point P ok. Once we got that how much the translation is, once we are applying this translation on to this point, we are getting some point P ok and we want to find out the coordinate of this point P. So, let us say that the coordinate of your point P are basically C comma D ok. So, Remember the point minus 1 comma 5 minus 1 comma minus 5 once you are applying this translation which is minus 4 comma 5 you are reaching to a point P ok and the point minus 5 minus 1 comma minus 5 on to the point P. So, find P ok. So, the coordinate of P will be what minus 1 and minus 4 will be minus 5 and minus 5 plus 5 will be 0. So, these are the coordinate of point P we have got. So, in both the example what we did let me give you a quick conclusion. In the first example we have we have been given the coordinates and we have been given the translation that we have to apply and we got the new coordinates. But in the second example we have been given the points and we have been given the new co new point as well. What we did? we found that how we can find out that how much translation we have applied. So, I hope that in the first topic of this transformation which we have discussed about translation your concepts are quite much clear now. So, if you have got this video please do not forget to subscribe my channel and do not forget to share this video to as much as students you can. Thank you.